reading for the 10th to the 16th of August. I hope you enjoyed last week's uh, videos and remember we're already by the end of this coming week we will be at the middle of August and remember August is a very active and uh, strong power month there's a lot of positive things happening that's what the cards have been saying so I wonder what this week will bring and welcome back my cyber angels and thank you for your enormous support and uh, your shares and likes uh, a lot of you might be on holiday if you are on holiday please stay safe and enjoy your holiday and hope to see you back life in safety and well-being and for those that have just landed on this page hi i'm shah the cyber mum as we have a uh, live sessions as well on monday wednesday and friday so if you would like to join us in the live sessions the live sessions is the tea room known as the tea room and the followers the viewers are my cyber angels and um or cyber babes as they were known in the first early stages but they've prom I've promoted them to cyber angels okay if you would like to become a cyber angel and get a free card or have a question then I am willing to answer that so long they are supported by a super chat or a super sticker then join us on Monday Wednesday and Friday so please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified and I do put out extra notifications on Instagram Facebook and the community tab in YouTube there are a lot of exciting new things happening and that's why the intro is uh, slightly longer than usual um, I have done a couple of reviews and I've also um, been live for the first time on uh, cyber fair on Facebook you can see the video on that as well it was for charity and I, I am putting the link to the charity below each video this week um, as I would like to share things with you I feel honored and I am I've had a second chance after the two car accidents uh, that you all know about I have whiplash and I've come through it and um, I would like to give something back not just towards uh, anybody that's watching my videos but to more people uh, the charity is for the children that are blind but also uh, their families and the next of kin I will leave the information below please feel free don't feel um, that you have to but if you know somebody that's blind or a child with difficulties like that um, or has a parent that is blind it it does affect other family members so if you would like to donate thank you very much in advance and everything is welcome even if it is 25 cents if we all club together it can become a great whopping uh, amount and that will give them perhaps uh, a day out or a holiday or sustain them in an other way I know what it is like to be without financial aid um, this is a small charity um, I don't like to support big charities too much because they get subsidized by the municipalities and the governments or other institutions so this is um, uh, from me and from uh, uh, my viewers hopefully and this will go directly to the Royal British Society for the Blind uh, you can check it out yourself because I'll leave the link of the website underneath this video and in uh, the description box and uh, also uh, the money doesn't come to me I don't want to receive any money please pay directly into the um, association for the blind thank you very very much if you feel you can do it and you want to do it there again um, 
I'm stunned for words. I enjoyed the session. It was a life experience and you can see the video on how that went as well. And I hope to do it again sometime, hopefully next month, uh, see how things go. Let me know what your reaction is, whether you like uh, the idea that I'm doing this or have you got a suggestion of a very small uh, institution uh, or a trust that or an organization that could help uh, financial could benefit with financial help I'm willing to promote it because I'm got a, got a second chance and I'm blessed with you my cyber angels and my life and my children and my animals uh, so that's why I want to do it to a specific organization give a little bit back to society remember this is like the wheel of fortune and the world it's karma as well what goes round comes round thank you in advance and be blessed stay safe and i hope you enjoy the video ciao ciao hi scorpio this is shah and this is your reading for the 10th to the 16th and your first card is the nine of fire times have been tough you might have come through a very heavy period like uh, not getting what you want problems issues uh, because of the COVID perhaps you might find it very difficult to stay at home or it is difficult to work because you have to keep uh, a distance it might be worrying to you or it might have been worrying to you but it's coming to an end something is coming to an end as you've got the nine of wands usually you see somebody standing with a bandage around his head but you're taking time out you're taking a rest as well before you move on you're standing still like he is because and where there is an ending there is a new beginning it is good to take time out from time to time to gather your thoughts and to evaluate on what to do next and how to take the next step. The second card that you have, Scorpio, is the Fire Puppy. That is the Page of Fire and the Page of Fire is Sagittarius. And Sagittarius was prominent as well uh, with Taurus in uh, Libra so again fire sign so this could be uh, the Sagittarius but don't exclude Aries and Leo either and fire it, the, it this is an active month because we are in Leo and that is fire so it is a very busy month and very active perhaps a lot of passion and passion in love sense uh, in a relationship sense or passion and uh, that you have time to finally do your hobbies um, and um, the uh, page means that he will bring news if you're not meeting one of the fire signs so news is coming your way um, it will be good news as you are going into a new phase of life perhaps this you might have been unemployed with the situation at hand because of the COVID and you've been applying for jobs and now you're getting news that you can come for an interview or that you've got the job perhaps you be, uh, you might be busy with a hobby that you're passionate about and turning it into a career or business because the fire signs are very good business people they go for what they want the third card you have is the earth guardian and the guardian is the knight so the this could be a, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn he also brings you news and this news will be sustainable and will be durable and for long term so it could be a career move could be finally that you've got this job or a promotion wow a beautiful 
or you could be meeting an earth sign like I said and you've got an other um, guardian and that's the guardian of sea the guardian of sea that is cups okay and that's the knight of cups and usually he's depicted with a cup in his hand on a white and a shining knight on a, in armor on a white horse so he could be offering you passion uh, which could turn into love um, if that's so then these two cards will indicate that it is durable and for long term because the knight or the guardian of earth is slow but steady and they like to take the time to get to know you and let it grow the same with the knight of cups and um, that could be a cancer scorpio or a pisces so this could be you and this could be the other if it is not a fire sign and what i can also see it might be somebody younger than yourself it could be a week younger a month a year a couple of years um, and that is coming in look he's playing he it will be a playful soul because puppies are young and they're playful they um, they let their inner child out much easier than the knights so there might be somebody that might be a big comedian coming in and being your partner and there will be steady growth into this beautiful long-lasting relationship but it will also be um, a sensitive relationship as the water signs are very sensitive and some of them might be psychic or a medium spiritual in any sense of the word Um, sometimes they can let their heart rule their mind and their mind their heart usually vice versa their emotions their mind their heart rules the mind so take it easy and talk to each other very clearly and let each other know uh, what you want and that's how you can steadily grow a friendship into a relationship remember passion doesn't last you wanted to turn it into a steady relationship love but if you do um, 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 overwin the heart of a fire sign then you are theirs and don't get burnt out because they are very active in every sense of the way definitely in passion so you know um, let uh, show them or tell them what your boundaries are and ask what their boundaries are as well remember we have a life together with our partners partners but also a life of our own and so do they if you give them room and space they're all right okay but I've seen it happen with Aries and Sagittarius and a Leo uh, several Sagittarius that they won't let go okay more so than the uh, Aries or the Leo Aries finds it difficult as well um, they will always feel as if they are part of your life um, they do get hurt very easily well so do we all once we have loved somebody and it doesn't work out it hurts so don't worry take it step by step do the communication and don't get burnt out take a page out of the uh, night of earth and the um, night of cups the sea the cups stand for love passion again and nurturing and uh, sexy and sensuality and sexiness so you might meet somebody really beautiful or very sensual okay with passion or somebody with an absolute loads of passion and action they want excitement okay so let's see what the uh, healing of the angels card says 
spiritual growth. There you go. So if it is spiritual growth, I think it will most likely be a water sign. Like I said, they could be spiritual because they listen to their emotions. And that means they're in new ideas and into intuition. There will be spiritual growth. Now the card from Wayne Dyer, the sixth secret. You can't solve a problem with the same mind that created it. Change. Change your mind, change your attitude. It says change your mind, but I got to hear change your attitude. Change your attitudes towards yourself and believe in your connectedness to the higher energy, your own energy, your own, your subconscious, your own soul, your, your intuition, okay? That is that you can change into, be spiritual, okay? Get connected to Earth, okay? The higher energy of God or the divine. Some people stay stuck on a word, but I don't. Even in the dear, di uh, dearest, sorry, even in the direst of circumstances, turn anything that seems problematic over to your higher self and the angels and the divine, trusting that the problem is not what it seems to be. And this reminds me of the card in the Lenamon, the mountains. And these are mountains as well. You can see a lot into them. Anyway, that's the verse on the back. So change your attitude and thoughts. If you get a bad thought, say thank you very much for coming in and think of a new positive thought. This could be an old memory that you can use to reset your own button. And the last card is the color card and you've got um, emerald. Calm your mind, your body and your soul. So you've got a three, so be creative about that. Wear green, go out into nature, is also green. Money is coming towards you, okay? Beautiful, I love that voluptuous green color. And the overall energy is grooming. The grooming can be um, combing your hair, or making yourself feel better, or um, more beautified but also spiritually growing. Groom yourself. Get yourself to relax. Practice relaxation. Getting back into your strength. And you've got number eight here. Coming back into your strength. And the house of money. What a beautiful reading. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the life. If you are on holiday, then enjoy your holiday and come back safe and sound as a pound. Love you all and enjoy the week. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.